Alright guys, welcome back to Junk Marrow Garage. So today I'm going to be showing you the do's and don'ts of my stroker build. Alright, let's go get the hood open. Come on, here we go. So anyways, since last time I made a video on the Camaro, I've done a couple things. Essentially, I swapped the heads out and got a different carburetor on it. Before it was just making way too much compression with the flat top pistons and the 305 heads. Too much, just kept getting engine knock and, or engine ping I mean, and uh, spark plugs. The pistons would come up and uh, hit a couple of them if they weren't angled in there just right. So, if you're gonna be building a 383 on a budget, if you're gonna use the 305 heads, either get dome pistons and use the 305 heads, or get the flat tops like I did and just kinda get a different set of heads that have a larger CC chamber where you're not making as much compression and you won't be running into as many issues as I did. And I ended up going with a Holly 650 double pumper. One, because the 800 was just a little too big. I mean, if I had a 750, that probably would be okay, but it seemed like the 800 was just a little too much. And plus two, I got it from for free from a, a buddy. So, can't really be free. Other than that, that's really the two main things that I've changed on this engine. But other than that, I've driven it probably about 1,500 miles right now. I, got, I still got some tinkering to do on the carb. I think I got to make the secondary jets a little bit bigger because when I get on it, it seems like fuel starts kind of cutting out in the higher RPMs. Like it's just not getting enough. So I might go with some bigger jets, see how that goes, and... um. Hopefully that fixes that issue. But back to the heads. These heads are off of a mid-70s, I think. Like a 74 Chevy 327. Kind of like the industrial 327s that kind of... That came in the trucks. And, uh... The valves on them... I, I, as far as I remember, I think it's a 194 intake valve and... I don't know the exhaust, but anyways, it still works good. I looked up these heads before, and they're like the best of the worst. Is a good way to put it. But either way, it still makes plenty of power. It gets the job done. So uh, right now, I'll go and I'll start it up and hear how it, how it sounds. Yep, I also got the interior all put back together for the most part. I still got to throw in a radio and uh, do some other little things, but for the most part, it's good enough to drive. I still got to get it inspected. There's a couple little things I got to do to it still, like e-brake cable, fix this so my headlights actually work right, and all that cool stuff. So yeah, just a couple pumps. Make sure it's in neutral. Yep. Massively loud fuel pump. Starts right up. Yeah. Honestly, it runs up fucking great. I got a little oil leak there that I got to take care of, but then I got to do something with this because I don't. That just kind of sketches me out a little bit. I really don't like the fuel line that close to the header. But I'll go and set you guys back here so you can get a little exhaust clip.
So overall, for building a 383 on a budget, it came out pretty well. Oh, also, don't get the cheapest seals you can on uh, online. It, they end up leaking. I ended up just going with Velpro gaskets, so the intake gaskets, head gaskets when I swapped over the heads. Just spend the extra money. But yeah, now we'll go and uh, take a quick ride and show you guys how she drives. Alright, so I got my little clip thing right here so I can go and hook my phone up to the dash and uh, we can go for another ride. All set. I can also maybe flip it around. There we go. There's my chickens just chilling. Anyways, here we go.
throttle, it just kind of falls on its face. I don't know if I'm getting enough fuel or the carbs clogged or something, but I definitely got to fix that. But, you know, it can still do burnouts and stuff, so that ain't too bad. Speaking of burnouts... Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.